Hey Traveler, today we're talking all about why Google Flights is the number one search engine that you should be using on every flight booking that you make. You know, a lot of people you know, swear by Priceline, Skyscanner, Momondo, Kayak, Expedia, there's so many options out there. Uh, but Google Flights is unequivocally the best. And let me tell you why. First off, Google Flights allows you to search up to five different departure cities and five different destinations, and it'll quickly find the best combination um, for you to get you know, to your ultimate destination. So for example, you know, let's say you live in the US, but you're willing to you know, fly out of five different US airports. And let's say you're going to Europe and you're willing to, you know, you don't really care where you're going in Europe, as long as you can get there on the cheap, you know, you're willing to fly up to five different European destinations. Um, Google Flights will quickly search through the options that you've input into the search engine and it'll quickly spit out, you know, the best city pairing for you at the cheapest cost. And it's going through thousands of different combinations and quickly and efficiently finding you the best option. Second, Google Flights has an incredibly powerful calendar. Gone are the days where you search just one departure date and one return date. Google Flights allows you to quickly go through their calendar, which goes all the way out 11 months, and you can quickly scroll through month by month and it'll identify the cheapest dates in green. So you can quickly select those and book. So you know, you might have thought, I wanna go in the summer somewhere, but then you look at the fall and you can fly for a third of the price. Um, and Google Flights allows you to quickly and easily find those cheap dates. Next up, Google Flights Explore Destinations feature. Explore Destinations is probably one of the most underrated, but yet the most powerful way to book a cheap flight. But let's say that we're you know in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and we want to go to Europe. But again, we don't care where we want to go. If we do the Explore Destinations feature, it'll quickly open up the map of Europe and it will show based on whatever dates that you set. You know, let's say I just want to go a week to Europe. And then, you know, when do you want to go? You can select up to six months out. The map will populate with all the different European destination cities and it will identify the cheapest ones, which is pretty crazy. Definitely check out Explore Destinations, you know, if you wanna to go to Mexico or the Caribbean or, you know, Argentina or Chile, anywhere you wanna go in the world, you can search one departure city. Again, it doesn't have to be in the United States. This can be anywhere in the world to any other, you know, region or country in the world. And it'll quickly pull up with that Explore Destinations feature, which are the cheapest, you know, destination cities. Really cool, definitely recommend you check it out. All right, so let's talk about my next favorite feature with Google Flights, and that's their price alerts. So these only work if you have a Gmail account, but of course a Gmail account's free to sign up for. Um, but you know, once you sign into your Gmail account, then you go into Google Flights, you can set up specific departure cities, destinations, dates that you wanna go on, flights that you wanna go on. You can set up as many of these price alerts as you want, and whenever the price goes up or it goes down, Google will send you an email, and these are great for monitoring flight pricing, and so you can start setting up these Google Flights price alerts 11 months out, and then we always recommend you know watching flight prices for two to three, four months, um, and once you see prices drop significantly, you know from kind of the baseline of of what you've seen, you know, that's the time to book, and that's where Google Flights price alerts really become incredibly valuable. Um, they probably work best when you have inflexible dates. You know, if you gotta go somewhere over Thanksgiving or Christmas or in peak summer when flights are incredibly expensive, you know, that's the best option is to set up one of these alerts, monitor flight pricing, um, and then book it when the prices drop. All right, next up, Google Flights does not collect any kind of cookie information. So if anyone's ever heard of the common travel myth that somehow uh, your browser cookies track flight pricing, and if you go and you search you know, for that flight enough times, that, that'll somehow increase the flight pricing. Um, so generally, that's just not true, um, and Google Flights is a tool that doesn't track any kind of cookies like that that would manipulate flight pricing. You know, Google and the airline's only objective is to get your butt in that seat. So one of the things you need to know is Google Flights doesn't collect any kind of that data, all right, so if you've liked this video, definitely give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to the Thrifty Traveler channel. Thanks, guys.